Players who decided not to resign said enough accountability had started that members chose not to go through with it. We now know one of the issues was EMS billing and how that money was being appropriated. Apparently, that money was not going into the fire department's fund. Instead, it was going to the city's general fund. Now, council members say they have drafted legislation to make sure money intended for the fire department goes to them. There were also concerns regarding the administrator's audit of the fire department. Council members admit the city's finances are in disarray. We have had some audit issues and part of what we were trying to do is correct those audit issues. We've had a lot of transition in our administration. As a chamber, we have some concerns about some things obviously that have gone on. Obviously, the chamber is trying to improve the community at large, is trying to help the business area the business district and when we see some of the things that have happened it, it, we were confused. Brian Fells is a very good police chief, I mean fire chief. Why was he put on administrative leave? Does anybody know? Has anybody been told why our fire chief was put on administrative leave? You accept his letter to come back but he's still on administrative leave. So we would like to know some answers. When are you going to give them to us? What do we have to do to find out what's going on? And tonight there were also a lot of questions about the city administrator Jennifer Eakey and whether she had been placed on administrative leave. That's something that some people at the meeting had said they had heard. She was not present at the meeting tonight, but city leadership said that they could not comment on whether she is still acting as the city administrator. Live in North College Hill, Morella Porter, Local 12 News. All right, Morella, thank you so much. Last week, the Ohio Auditor's Office confirming there is an open investigation involving North College Hill. However, the office would not share details about what exactly it's looking into. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.